My name is Kai Schrammeyer. I am the national development coach for Tennis Canada for wheelchair tennis. I've been coaching on and off for a good 10 years now. I started coaching in my career as an active competitive athlete. I volunteered with programs and got into it more seriously um, about six, seven years ago when I did a development project for the International Tennis Federation, went to South America, helped to develop a program there and then um, coached in BC uh, in Vancouver where I live and I've been in my role since November 2010 now for Tennis Canada. All the, the coaching methodology applies as in, you know, passion is the key ingredient. You want to make a difference in that person's lives. You want to make a person a better athlete. Um, as far as the techniques, the good thing about wheelchair tennis is that it's tennis, so you're not reinventing something new. You're just adding certain aspects like mobility, certain tactical considerations. But the big advantage is that tennis coaches have that 80% of the background to coach wheelchair athletes as well. You know, I think um, I would almost say playing sports is a human right. Everybody should be entitled to do so. So there's no real difference as far as uh, giving people the opportunity to, to play sports. And it's amazing what happens when you have an athlete in a wheelchair out for the first time. He or she hits a clean tennis ball and they're hooked. And then, uh, you know, they, you have to make it fun. Uh, and I'll talk in length to my workshop participants today about the aspect of fun. But as long as it's fun, um, there is no real difference between coaching athletes with a disability or able-bodied athletes. I'd love to grow the sport. I'd love to have tons of more participants at all levels, build tennis, um, through the various streams, I, you know, it could be somebody who just wants to hit in the park on a Sunday afternoon or somebody else who may be more ambitious would want to shoot to become a high performance athlete and par become a Paralympian. I'd love to have more coaches in the game, love to have um, improved partnerships throughout the country to be able to f uh, recruit new participants, um, find uh, new uh, sources of funding. There's tons to do. It is completely satisfying when you're out there and you have the chance to make a difference in somebody's life. Um, you know, I, I was a Paralympian athlete, I've, I've participated in three Paralympic Games and, and had, you know, my share of glory. Okay. But I would say the most satisfying moments uh, on a tennis court is when I was the trigger in a, somebody else's life and, and could make, you know, added something new and created a new passion through sports for somebody who uh, may have not known about uh, that sport. I clearly remember uh, years back, must be 10, 15 years back, I was doing a workshop in Germany and uh, for beginners and this highly autistic kid came out in a wheelchair and he had, he had that stone cold, rigid face, no emotions and I was just observing him throughout uh, the morning and when uh, uh, then we got into hitting tennis balls and I basically just dropped a ball, that kid hit, took the racket back, hit a clean beautiful forehand and you could literally just a, see a smile run away from, from his face whereas before that there was just, you know, there was zero emotion and I found out later from his mother, he went home and said basically where can I play tennis tomorrow? So that, that's uh, one of uh, the uh, many episodes that I recall. I love it. I, lo I mean, that's, uh, you know, I've uh, dabbled in the corporate world for a while after my career and couldn't get that satisfaction. And I realized there was one big piece missing in my life, and that's making a difference. And if I can make a difference in somebody, just like in the past, somebody else, when I started out playing, uh, was there for me and made a difference and attracted me to, to wheelchair tennis. If I can make that difference in somebody's life, then, then that, that makes my day and, and uh, that's, that's when I know I'm in the right place. Justin Marshall, Para MB Sport and Recreation, Fredericton.